Well, hello there. I hope this is a video you don't get to see because I'm going to talk about something you can do with liquid nitrogen, and I don't have any. I hope to have some at some point. I, I'm kind of working on that, and I used to teach it uh, that uh, part time at that little place down at uh, in Norman, uh, whatever that place is called, and. Uh, I had easy access to liquid nitrogen, so before I taught this subject, I'd always get what's called a doer. It's kind of a container. It's kind of uh, a large metal container, and I'd go get some liquid nitrogen, and I'd bring it to class. And uh, liquid nitrogen is pretty cold, minus 196 degrees Celsius, or 77K. It's on down there. So I uh, explained to students how I have to be very, very careful with it. And then uh, I have a styrofoam cup. I have this uh, container called a doer, and I start pouring some of the liquid nitrogen in the styrofoam cup, and then and then I pretend that you know, it's getting a little heavy for me, and I splash some on my arm. Oh, the students go oh, and uh, then I explain well you know the the difference between your arm which is higher this is room temperature your arm is up uh, a little higher the t difference between your arm temperature is about 310K and liquid nitrogen is way over 200 degrees and it instantly vaporizes and makes a little vapor seal. Now you can't do that with liquid freon, I understand. But liquid nitrogen, at least for a little while, at least for a little while, uh, you can do that. Now occasionally someone's splashing in my pocket. Ooh, that was cold. Um, but then uh, I'd fill up the styrofoam cup and I'd ask us, uh, you know, for volunteers, because uh, I'd say, and I'd show them, i say, because of what I just told you, you can stick a couple fingers into this styrofoam cup of liquid nitrogen for a few seconds, pull them out, and everything's fine. And so I'd get uh, usually three or four volunteers to put their fingers in the liquid nitrogen, and I can go home that night. And guess what I did? And then, um, uh, then I'd uh, go ahead, I had this little styrofoam ice chest, and I'd fill it, it was about so tall, I'd fill it with liquid nitrogen. And, uh, and I'd take a balloon, a little balloon, I'd blow it up about this big, tie it off, and I would lay that balloon in the liquid nitrogen. That balloon would go down to nothing. And I'd take some tongs and lift it onto the, onto the desktop, and the balloon would go right back up, make exactly that sound. Into the liquid nitrogen, uh, back on the desktop, right back up. And so uh, down and up, it was very amusing, very interesting to see. So what's the explanation for the balloon going down and up? Well, it was going through a 216 degrees temperature swing. From the temperature of liquid nitrogen up to room temperature back to minus 196, up to plus 20, minus 196, or from the Kelvin scale from 77 to 293, back to 77, back to 293. And what keeps a balloon inflated anyway? Well, it's the pressure of the bouncing molecules inside it going bobbity 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 bomb against the inside of the balloon. So what happens when you take that balloon from root temperature uh, way down to the temperature of liquid nitrogen? The molecules slow down, no more pressure, balloon collapses. Okay, put it back on the desktop, the molecules do what? They start moving in, bobbity bomb I mean, it just takes a couple of three seconds, back up again, and uh, back up to uh, 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, and uh, you got your pressure back again. All right, and, and also, uh, you can, I've heard, I haven't done this, I understand you can put a carrot in a liquid nitrogen. I'm going to try this next time I have some, and I'll leave it there for a little while, take that carrot out, and smash it on the desk, and it'll shatter like glass. And I think you can do that with fingers, too. You stick those in the liquid nitrogen, leave them in there long enough, and whap them on the desk, and they'll, your fingers will shatter like glass, too. Now that's what you call a testable hypothesis. Never, I don't think I'll ever get any volunteers for that. But uh, anyway, uh, the movement of molecules, liquid nitrogen, what I do at the uh, end of the demonstration, I take that doer or whatever's left, and I would uh, send the liquid nitrogen out uh, underneath the desk, around the classroom, under the students' feet. They think that was pretty interesting. Uh, anyway, uh, another application of temperature and the motion of molecules. All right, that's it.